the product rule. Uh, the simplest way to write the product rule is f times g, quantity prime, which means the derivative of f times g, equals f times g prime plus g times f prime. And the example we're going to look at is the derivative of the square root of x times the tangent of x. Well, in order to do this problem, you must be able to individually be able to differentiate the square root of x and the tangent of x. The derivative of the square root of x, which is x to the one-half power, is one over two times the square root of x. The derivative of the tangent x, you might not have had yet, is merely the secant squared x. Okay, you'll get to that if you haven't had that yet, but that's the derivative of the tangent x, secant squared x. Well, at first I'm just going to apply the rule. That is, I'm going to say, okay, well, of course, uh, the square root of x plays the role of f, and the tangent of x plays the role of g, so it's f times g prime plus uh, g times f prime. And now we'll, all we have to do is take the respective derivatives, and we end up with, with this expression. Um, the square root of x times secant squared x plus the tangent of x times 1 over 2 times the square root of x. I can bring the tangent up on top here and we have our solution. And so the derivative of the square root of x times the tangent x equals the square root of x times secant squared x plus the tangent x over 2 times the square root of x. Uh, the extended product rule is here. Um, now I have it as four functions, f of x times g of x times h of x times c of x, four functions, but you could do it for five, six, ten functions. Um, all you do is write down f times g times h times c four times as a sum, and then you shift the derivative. Start maybe on c prime, and then move it over to h prime, and then g prime, and then finally f prime, and then you find those uh, particular derivatives.